And we're off. Octopus, is Night of the Veggie Monster one of your favorite books? Yeah. How could I tell? Well, okay. you've only read the story like 10 times in a row. <laughs> first grade publishers. Oh, we're getting so close to publishing your first book in first grade. Postcard stories. I'm so excited. I hope you are. We're at one of my favorite steps in the writing process. Publishing. Think of all the hard work you've done, the planning, the drafting, the revising, the editing, all of that. All your hard work, putting it all together. We're going to be creating two important items for your book. One being the cover of your book. As you can see, we're looking at the cover of Night of the Veggie Monster. Number two, and that's what we're going to work on today, is the title page. Huh. Wait, what do you mean? Cover? Title page? Well, a lot of people forget. They don't realize that the cover of the book is the very front. But if you turn to the next page, sometimes this doesn't show up till the second or third page, you'll see a page that looks like the cover and it also has the title of the book. So if you see on the cover, the title of the book's right here, Night of the Veggie Monster, as well as the author, George um, McClemens. Sorry, I put a sticker over part of your name. And onto the first page of the book, it's called the title page. It has the same title, obviously, because it's the name of your book, Night of the Veggie Monster by George McClemens. Now, George McClemens decided to have a different design for the cover versus the title page. But what's the same about both pages is that the title of the book is on the cover, as well as the title page, as well as the name of the author slash illustrator, and that's gonna be you on both of the pages. Some of you might be wondering, well, why do you need a title page? Um, oftentimes the title page, you can't quite see it on here, but on the back side, there's all this sort of extra copyright information. So folks that want in extra information about the book, when it was published or where it was published, they would find the title page and look at the page and look at the other side of the page. All right, anywho, you have a couple of choices, Bambini. We're working on our title page today. So not the cover, but the next page, the actual first page of your book, the title page. Got it? We're gonna work on it and there's two choices. You can go old school and get a piece of paper and write out your title and it's gonna, and I'll talk about what your title of your book will be called in a moment, as well as your name. So you can go old school, write it out really big. You can draw a picture that goes along with your title and it's gonna be titled Postcard Stories as well as your name. Or if you wanna get really fancy, I will show you another option where you can type out your title page. Whoa, we're getting fancy. So how do you type it out? You will first need to go to your email. Just don't read my, e my millions of emails here. And you go to where there's these nine little dots. We call that the waffle. So you're gonna click on the waffle and there's different apps connected to your Google account. And notice where it says Docs. We're gonna click on Docs. And Docs is just short for Documents, Documents. And then if you go down, I can't quite see where I'm at. Oh, I can actually move myself, that's so cool. If you go down to this plus sign, you're gonna click on this plus sign, plus meaning you're adding a new document. Go ahead and click on it or double click on it. Oh, here we go. And look, there's a nice empty page. I should, oh, whoa, whoa, I'm moving myself. Wow, <laughs> going crazy, going crazy. Didn't know I could do that. Um, this is where you would probably pull a parent or a teacher or an adult over to help you out here. So you have a nice new document. And remember, these are folks that wanna type out their title page. You can absolutely old school it and write out your title. Um, first things first, if you go to this little heading, it says untitled document, um, go ahead and name it. So you wanna name this document, I'm gonna name it Postcard Stories. 
All right. And because that's going to be the title of your book, Postcard Stories. And then you're going to click on the paper. And you see how there's like a little line right here flashing on and off, on and off. You're going to type out your title. And what's the title of your book? Postcard Stories. So I'm going to start typing P. Oh, my gosh, this is so little. I can barely see the font. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here, and we'll talk about changing fonts in a moment. You see this number? That's font size. We're going to go ahead and just make it nice and big. Why don't we just go to 36? Let's try it out. Postcard stories. And if you're going old school, I'm giving you the spelling right here for you to copy down. So we want a capital P because it's the name of your book. And O, post, post. There's a long O sound here. P O S T, postcard. C A R D, postcard. Compound word, post plus card equals postcard. And then I'm going to press this return button. Again, this is where um, a parent would probably need to help you. If we were back in school, we would be in the computer lab and I would teach you all these little keys. You're going to find the button that says return, press return, and it brings you down to the next, the next line. And we're going to type in stories, capital S. And the rest of it is lowercase t o r i e s because why stories? You all wrote three stories. That's why it's called postcard stories, not story. Um, press return again, and I'm going to press return again, and I'm going to write by by who? Right? That's where you're going to write your name by, and I'll put. Jolie. Um, if you want to get fancy, you can put in your last name, Jolie Gordon. Um, and here's the fun part. Again, this is where you're going to most likely need an adult. Highlight. Ooh, I'm holding down the, sh you know, I'm holding down a certain key and I'm pulling it because I've got a mouse here. I'm highlighting my text. Highlighting means um, this is what I want to change. And this is where you can center it, center it. You can make it bigger. Whoa! I like to actually make my name a little bit smaller. So um, I'm going to highlight just my name. I don't need my name like that huge. Well, maybe a little bit bigger than that. That sounds good. Um, I like to kind of move my name down like that. Oh, I want something fancy, postcard story. So I'm going to, I can change my font. See where it says Arial? I'm getting really fancy on you here. Remember, this is not a requirement for you to type out your title page. I'm just giving, ooh, I'm getting all fancy. Postcard stories. This is super fun for many of you that are into fonts like myself. Oh, wow, we're going old school here. We're going Edwardian. Anyways, I will pick something a little more. Oh, I'm going sort of typewriter on you. And then you can even just change the font if you want of your name. You can do all sorts of things. Um, it's also nice to bring down your your title. Um, I know some of you are wondering, do I have to title my store, my collection of stories, postcard stories? Absolutely not. This is just a suggestion. You can title it all sorts of things. Um, magical moments, small moments, uh, my, my different vacation trips, my trip to Europe, if all your stories about, are about, are related somehow, um, trip to Hawaii, special moments, moments with my family. So postcard stories is just a suggestion. You do not have to title your book that way. It's just, so once you have it all typed out the way you want or written or drawn out, that's where you can print it out and decorate it how you want. So remember, George McClemens had a really kind of cool design on his title page where he put the title, Night of the Veggie Monster, on a plate since it was about a, a dinner moment. All right, we're good. Definitely do your best work here, um, and you're going to need some help with the typing if that's the route you are choosing to go. All right, ciao, ciao, bambini.